Hey everybody, so I recently got some PR as mentioned in a previous video from Maybelline and that includes some of their new colors in their Expert Wear Shadow Singles. They look like this. I've had a few of these in the past and I've enjoyed them. And I have nine colors right here. And I managed to use every single one in today's eye look. So I'm going to go through and swatch these for you. Um, using the brushes to apply them today, I had more success with some than others. I actually had more success with the mattes than some of the metallic shades. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch them. So just keep watching if you'd like to see swatches of the new Maybelline shadow singles. The first shadow that I started off with today, which I put all over my lids, is Linen. It's number 20. And it is this kind of peachy, Caucasian, fleshy color. And you may not even be able to see it on my skin, but we'll see. We'll start up here. try to get a little bit more of a swatch on here. Okay, so I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's right here. It's very nice. It's I wouldn't say creamy, but it comes off well enough when you swatch it and it worked really well with the blush, the brush. I used a big fat brush just to kind of dust it all over my lids. The next one that I used is this really pretty color called Cool Cocoa number no. 70 and it's like a cool brown with just a little hint of shimmer in it. Not sure if you can see it there. The shimmer is almost like a peachy rose gold color. It's really pretty. So you see, cool tone. If this didn't have sparkle in it, I would say it would be really good for contouring as well. Now, I don't have a primer or anything on my arm. This is just my skin. So cool tone brown was next. And I put that in my crease. Then I went in with some pink. This one is called Fierce Fuchsia number 180. It is a matte, bright, cool tone pink. And again, they come off very easily. They're not flaky. That color is really, really pretty. And I used this one above my crease. You can kind of see it here. Then to deepen up my crease, I went in with a darker brown. This one is called Something for Mocha. The back is all torn off. I don't know what happened to this one. Darker brown. Sorry, don't know the color. It's not on the packaging. Sometimes that happens. I get PR things and they're missing pieces, so I wonder if they were previously tried. I think it's a little strange to send someone something to try that's already been opened and used. I've had that happen not just once, a handful of times from companies. This one is a super, super dark, dark brown. <clears throat> very pigmented, comes off very easily. I didn't have to put much pressure on it. So we have the fleshy color, the cool brown with a little bit of shimmer, the fuchsia, and the dark brown. And then in my outer corner only, I applied this black. It's called 110 Night Sky. It's essentially a matte black, which I feel like every collection needs. Matte black, nothing surprising here. And then I moved on to the shimmers. There are four. I started off with this peachy golden color, which is called the Glow Down. It's really nice. This one came off super, super well. I didn't have to, I didn't have to use a fixing spray at all. Right here, it's very, very pretty. It's a peachy gold color. You can spray your brush with fix a Fix Plus or Fixing Spray to make it more intense, but you didn't need to. I just applied it with my finger on my lid and it didn't need any help. <coughs> Sorry. 
I feel like I'm getting another cold, so bear with me. Next, I went in with this gold called Gold School. It's a really cute name. I put this on the inner corner of my eye. This one is a bit patchy. I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of chunky and dry. And when I swatched this one earlier, it didn't swatch very well. Like you get the very faintest hint of gold. So this is one of the ones that I said was kind of like hit or miss. If you really, really, really dig your finger in there, you can get more product, but the product is breaking off in chunks if you can see that. <laughs> so this one is very chunky and it doesn't apply evenly. It applies very, very patchy. So this one would definitely need a fixing spray or something to help it adhere. And there are so many gold shadows out there that unfortunately this one just didn't make the cut. Okay, next I went in with an olivey metallic color on the outer portion of my lower lash line. Like I said, I used all of the colors today and this one is called Khaki Camo in 75. This one is very intense, very pigmented, very opaque, very consistent. And don't mind the bruise. My 11 month old, almost one year old loves to pinch. I have little bruises all over my arms from when he's like grabbing onto me for dear life. Oh, everywhere. <laughs> So I really like this green. I have been in an olivey green phase and loving the greens. So I will definitely be getting a lot of use out of this khaki camo. And then finally on the inner portion of my lower lash line and my inner corner, I used this beautiful silver and it is called New York Silver. I got engaged in New York City. So anything with New York kind of has a special place in my heart. My husband proposed to me on Bow Bridge in Central Park, which has been in so many movies since then. So it's, it's a really nice memory. So New York Silver. And this one, so much better than the gold. It's not chunky, it's not patchy, it's not flaking off. Really, really intense silver sparkle well silver shimmer it's definitely metallic silver it's it's beautiful so there you have the swatches we've got the light like fleshy color then the cool brown then the magenta then the dark brown then the black and then the metallic shimmer shadows here and as I stated I am wearing them today so let me scoot in closer so you can see what I did I have the linen color all over my lid I have the fuchsia color above my crease I have the, I have to pull up the names again. I have the Cool Cocoa in my crease. I have that dark chocolate brown to deepen up my crease. I have the Night Sky Black in my outer corner. I have, <clears throat> The glow down peachy golden color on the center of my lid. I have the gold school color on my inner part of my lid. And then on my lower lash line, I have khaki camo on this portion. <clears throat> and then New York silver on the inner portion. And if you wanna know what else I'm wearing today, since I have a surprise planned tomorrow, my husband is surprising me with some excursion or something tomorrow for my Christmas gift. And I know I'm gonna be out all day, so I've been testing like long wearing foundations all week. So today I'm wearing the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation, the 24 hour foundation in the shade 102 Shell Beige. And I am also trying out the Argan Wear Kajal Liner on my waterline, my upper and lower waterline, it's supposed to be long wearing, so we shall see. And I'm also wearing the Superhero Mascara from IT Cosmetics, which is supposed to make your lashes look stretched, more dramatic, and plumper. And so far, 
I think that that is true. It does make them look like they have grown instantly. So I'm liking this one. And I wanted to base my entire look around one of my favorite collections from MAC right now, which is the Shade Sense. And this is the Cream Sheen Lipstick in Creme de Nude. I love the fragrance and I love this nude color. So I wanted to base a look around these products today to feature them. So I hope you enjoyed this swatch video. Here they are again and I will be sure to post some pictures so you can see close-ups. I hope you enjoyed and remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!